Welcome! In this video we are going to take a look at these two fountain pens. This right one is an Osmia 5G and the other one is Faber-Castell 66G. And these are actually made by the same company. You see Faber-Castell, which uh, is a brand that still exists, uh, used to have their fountain pens made by this Osmia company. And in the late 1950s this Osmia was taken over by Faber-Castell and this name was phased out of these pens and they were simply Faber-Castell pens. And uh, I, I really didn't find much information about these pens online, so that's why I made this video. So let's have a look at these pens, their parts, and uh, do a brief writing sample. Oh, let us first take a look at the Osmia 5G. I couldn't really date this exactly, but I, I believe this is from mid-1950s or so. And uh, if you compare this to other pens of the time, this is pretty basic torpedo shaped pen. Nothing really unusual going on. So uh, it has a steel cap. Like I said, nothing special. The cap band says Osmia Progress which apparently is some sort of a reference to one of their older models but in fact on the barrel here it says 5G which is the actual model and then it says M which just indicates that this has a medium nib mm, what can you say? well kinda reminds me of Parker 51 although I'm not claiming that it's a clone. There is something similar. The cap slips off and uh, then this uh, like sem semi-hooded gold nib I is revealed. You have an ink window. This is a piston filler. And uh, there is nothing much else to say. Seems to be a very reliable pen, easy to disassemble and, and, and repair. Uh, this is very similar to the other pen in construction, so I will disassemble that one on the video. N not this one. And I, I guess that's it. Let's have a look at the other pen. This is the other pen. Faber-Castell 66G. Seems to me that this is one of their top pens of the time. I date this to late 1950s, early 1960s. Uh, why so? Well, Lambro's book Fountain Pens of the World says that the name Osmia was phased out in the late 1950s and as the name is absent from this pen uh, it would put this to end of 1950s or early 1960s. So this is a bit newer than the other pen. Yeah, so this is pretty similar. This one has a plastic cap, uh, gold plated clip, cap band. The cap band says Faber-Castell and it also has the word progress as the other pen had. The finial looks like that. So there is this Osmias diamond logo. So there is some indication to this company. The other indication is a stamp on the nib, which is not, not seen on the, unless you dismantle the nib unit. And uh, yeah, piston filler like the other pen. Nib looks like looks exactly like the in the other pen, so it's slightly different uh, around the 
ink window because this has a screw-on cap, the other had a slip-on cap. Okay, and then uh, there is the model name there, it says 66G and then BB for a double broad nib. And like I said, this is easy to disassemble, so really when I got this all I had to do was to soak this pen for a while so I could take off the section and, and lubricate the piston. piston. The piston action is very smooth, works very well for a pen of this age. And the section comes off by simply screwing it off. Like this, so you can access the piston easily. So <clears throat> I didn't have to take the piston apart, so I don't know how do you do it. If you knock it out from here or if it's threaded. And if it's threaded, I don't know if, it's, if the threads are left-handed or right-handed. But if you get a pen like this, I would assume that most likely you don't have to do anything. So this is the nib unit. And uh, the nib simply pulls off. Maybe you have to push a bit. And out comes the nib with this large, large collector. Uh, which actually, in my opinion, regulates the ink flow very well. So, this is a. Both of these pens are good writers. And then you have the nib. Uh, I'm not going to take it off, but you just simply uh, pull it off. It comes off easily. So, this is very uh, easy. And, well, you can maintain this pen very easily. Uh, maybe I will put it back together uh, of the video but that's pretty much all I have to say about this pen so next we are going to take a look at a, at a writing sample the first of our pens is Osmia 5G with a medium nib nice writer very well regulated flow. So this is a round nib, like you can see. And quite a wet nib, even though it's not overly wet. And the nib is rigid, wouldn't even call it soft. No flex for you. And the other pen is Faber Castell 66G with a double broad nib. Maybe I should have written a bit bigger. So this is a, a stub nib. So the edges of the nib are not, not especially crisp. So it's 
easy to write with, but you definitely have some character in your writing. And this one is quite a wet nib also. And no flex in this either. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this short video on these two pens. Thanks for watching.